Whoa, 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 welcome back to Harul Dabasht. It's been over a year and boy, the world has seen some eyebrow raising events. London Bridge fell down. Well, the replacement bridge is stumbling too already. Too many things happened and I even had my Romantada script already, but I woke up last Saturday, rubbed my eyes and thought, why is Fortnite in the news? You ever had that way this can't be real moment? Turned out this was no virtual battle, this was the real deal. People doing Fortnite IRL and let me tell you, the impact is massive. Whatever you agree or disagree with anyone, some actions are so jaw dropping, they command respect. Today I'm diving into the Gaza Strip and the mind-boggling events that had people running from the sky. But before we go into the what, how and why, let's chat about the unwritten rule books of conflicts. It's like Jack and me. We are not exactly buddies. We trade disses and play the passive aggressive cards, but there is the catch. There are lines we don't cross. Some words are just fight words. And certain actions, yep, they are fighting actions. As long as we play nice within those lines, we avoid the pow pow situation. But lately, those lines, they've been crossed like crazy. Now, two things you never ever bring up in Palestinian territories. Don't even joke about damaging the Aqsa Mosque and never start a conversation about nationality substitution. For years, Israeli settlers, often with their own military fan club, have been pushing those boundaries. Let's just say lines were crossed, words were thrown around, and it turned into who can outdo whom contest. And when someone threw a challenge, on you, either you cry or you make a try. Hamas dubbed this whole debacle hill the acts of flooding. But wait, let me paint you a picture of the security setup around the Gaza Strip. Well, that can give King Kong a run for his money, eight meters high and deep enough to meet an archaeologist's dreams, sensors, cameras infrared cameras you name it they've got it and let's not forget the towers with soldiers ready to shoot first and ask question later there even the electrified fence thrown in for that extra oops now here's the kicker flying let's talk about the sky action Walk up, grab your coffee, and suddenly one side's got wing for the sky. It's like a real-life action movie unfolding. Hamas decided to take a wild leap, quite literally, over the borders. They strap on their parachute-powered fans, soar through the skies, and touch down on the other side like skydiving commandos. It's like parachute heroes meet Fortnite in real life. And guess what? They pull off a stunt that even Tuma crews would admire. They nab some captive on their adventure and came back to the stripe walking. Meanwhile, Israelis response? Well, it's not a popcorn and candy kind of show. They go all in with the airstrike, building a rearrange like a kid's Lego set on a sugar rush and neighborhoods get the extreme makeover treatment. Is it a smart move? Not recording to Hamas. Hamas claimed that the Israeli airstrike took beside the hundreds of the civilians, of the Palestinian civilians, they took out also 15 of those captive with Hamas. Talk about twisting the plot. It's like a mission impossible meet with prank wars on steroids. And 
What do I hate more than spoiled brats and narcissists? Even with David versus Goliath military comparison, the Israeli government is still playing the underdog card. Not a great combo if you ask me. If I were supporting someone to be the strongest player in the area and they acted like a whiny kid who can't find their choice, I'd reconsider my choices. It's not a winning move, trust me. I tried it with other peoples, it's not a winning move, no matter how you sliced it. And if you are soldiers from another country thinking of joining the Israel site, and by some cosmic accident you're watching this video, do yourself a favor and don't. If there is a way to dodge the service, do it. If not, consider running, faking your death, a transforming into a chameleon. Do anything, anything but dealing with these folks. Gaza's residents are like a fusion of resilience and resourcefulness. I saw this many times in many years. Like if you combine Taliban toughness with NASA brain power and by the numbers, the armed forces use just a fraction of their full potential. In plain speak, that's mean you might be signing up for a five times crazier situation than what on your TV screen. But hey, maybe you got famous in the wrong way. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, please leave a like and write a comment about the stuff that you want me to hear the best about. As also, hit hard on the subscribe button and juggle the bills for more notification. Until then, I will camp here and let my sheep rest for another video. And then, see you here.